This is the third in a series of videos examining five leftist YouTubers who presented their political analysis of the Ukraine situation prior to the invasion and illustrating the ways in which their analysis failed. In this video, I'm examining Richard Medhurst. Richard Medhurst is a self-described independent journalist. You might guess exactly how independent he is from the fact that he has written for the Russian government-owned Sputnik news service and is a regular contributor to both Russia Today, a Russian state propaganda outlet, and Press TV, a news and information service owned by the Iranian government, which is the only media organization with the legal right to broadcast radio and TV in Iran. Unsurprisingly, Iran's Press TV acts as a propaganda outlet for the Iranian government. On the 17th of February 2022, Medhurst uploaded a video entitled No Russian Invasion! Media look like fools hyping war. In hindsight, after the invasion of February the 24th, this video, of course, now just looks even more ignorant than it did at the time. In that particularly ill-informed video, Medhurst made statements such as, quote, You know, all the evidence points to Russia saying we're not going to invade. Russia is not invading. They're pulling back troops from the border, from Russia's border with Ukraine, end quote. Characterizing Russia's actions as defensive, he said, quote, There's an intention to add Ukraine to NATO, and so Russia's deterrent is to have troops on the border in it. You know, in a defensive capacity, not an offensive capacity. It's not trying to invade Ukraine, it's trying to defend itself, end quote. Interestingly, one comment on this video suggested Medhurst should be more cautious, saying, quote, It's a little too early to take a victory lap, Richard. You may be right but we should wait, end quote. After the Russian invasion proved Medhurst totally wrong, another commenter added, quote, spoiler, he wasn't right, end quote. In a video published on the 23rd of February, after Putin had already sent troops into the self-declared republics of Donetsk and Luhansk, Medhurst doubled down, attempting to play down the situation again, mocking claims that this was any kind of invasion, saying, quote, Oh man, you should see these uniformed troops moving up to here. There's 190,000 Russian troops. They're going to invade any second, right? And then it's just Putin giving a rant from his office. What kind of an invasion is that? What kind of an invasion is that? End quote. Instead of addressing Russia's actions directly, Medhurst listed numerous coups, illegal invasions, and war crimes committed by the US and other Western nations then attempted to preempt charges of whataboutism by adding, quote, so that again, that doesn't excuse everything Russia is doing, end quote. However, he then returned to form, saying, quote, but don't put it out of context, don't take it out of context, because when a country has legitimate security concerns, and especially these concerns have been ignored and violated for decades and decades and decades, it builds up and you get to this point, end quote. This was clearly intended to justify Russia's actions and depict them as the defensive victims responding to extreme provocation. Medhurst then tried his hand at prediction, though with some degree of caution, saying, quote, So I think what's going to happen is that they're going to, again, I'm just speculating, but I think it will end up being that Russia will agree to, you know, completely leave with its peacekeepers, as they're being called, and the whole issue in Ukraine will end, end quote. Of course, this prediction failed completely. Russia's so-called peacekeepers did not leave, the situation did not end, and instead, on the 24th of February, the very next day, Russia deliberately escalated the situation to a full-scale invasion. However, Medhurst was still unable to face reality, so the very same day that Russia literally invaded, he uploaded a video entitled, Did Russia Invade Ukraine? in which he tripled down on his previous claims, insisting Western claims of a Russian invasion were still wrong. Instead of an invasion, Medhurst said, quote, Putin went, he gave an enormous speech in his office, which is very different from what they were telling you, right? They were saying there's going to be some huge invasion, end quote. Medhurst repeated his claim that, quote, the invasion of Ukraine was basically just Putin sitting in his office giving a rant for one hour, end quote. However, despite adding, quote, Afterwards, what Putin did is he sent in peacekeeping forces, end quote. Medhurst also acknowledged, quote, 
you have various interpretations of what that means, end quote. Still, Medhurst made it clear what he thought it meant, stating explicitly, quote, they've been hyping this war up and then he's just giving a rant in his office. What kind of an invasion is that? End quote. And, quote, you are telling us it's going to be a war. It's not a war. There's no invasion. End quote. Remember, this is all still on the 24th of February when the literal invasion actually took place. The next day, on the 25th of February, Medhurst uploaded yet another video entitled The Truth Behind Russia's Offensive in Ukraine. At this point, he was now prepared to call it an offensive, though he still attempted to salvage some dignity for himself and Russia. Now he was saying, quote, pick any Western outlet, they're calling it an invasion, and of course the Russians are saying, no, it's not an invasion, it's just a limited operation, end quote. In this video, he seems to have been attempting to pivot further, presenting the issue as more of a dispute over the interpretation of events. Nevertheless, in this video, he was still clearly favouring the Russian government's narrative, calling out various Western military operations in various nations, and objecting that none of them were referred to as an invasion, so neither should Russia's operation in Ukraine. Still, it seems even Medhurst was struggling to maintain the Russian line in the face of very obvious facts, in particular the scale of Russian involvement. At one point, he cited a tweet reporting on what he called, quote, a very large explosion in progress in Kiev, end quote, observing, quote, if the Russians are saying it's just the Donbass region, well, what's going on here then? I don't know how well we can see that, but that's quite monstrous, end quote. Medhurst's initial failures and his subsequent attempts to justify his failed commentary were called out by some commenters on his No Russian Invasion video. One read, quote, this aged well, end quote, echoed by another saying, quote, well, this video didn't age well, end quote. Another comment was more courteous, though still critical, saying, quote, I respect your ideas, but I would like to know why you said there was not going to be a war. Now we have it, and there are many people suffering from it, end quote. Under this, two other comments were far more blunt. The first reading, quote, look at his other videos from past month. Dude keeps getting it wrong and moves the goalposts when proven so, end quote. And the second, quote, he will avoid this. He was loud and arrogant and full of wrong information. He is the type of guy to do anything but admit he is wrong. What a joke, end quote. Here is a summary of Medhurst's claims. 1. All the evidence points to Russia saying we're not going to invade. Russia is not invading. They're pulling back troops from the border, from Russia's border with Ukraine. 2. Russia is not trying to invade Ukraine. It's trying to defend itself. 3. Russia will agree to completely leave with its peacekeepers and the whole issue in Ukraine will end. 4. It's not a war. There's no invasion. All of these claims failed. They were nothing more than pro-Russian propaganda produced by a YouTube channel which operates as a mouthpiece for the Iranian and Russian governments, the editor of which writes for Russian propaganda outlets. Finally, I'd like to thank my generous patrons, Elias Asvig, Duran Barnett, Alexander Curzon, Sean A. Young, Andy Chaos, Tibby LTP, Niels Rethlin, Matthew Simmerall, Thomas Leonard, Martin T, Ben Lindquist, John Larkin, Love You More, Noah French, Aaron Johnson, Emily Kugler, David Johnson, Be the Heretic, and Dusty Bob. Thank you so much for your support, and please contact me if I ever pronounce your name incorrectly.